Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Afia Sabrina Akepo and wanted to bring you a prophetic word on today. Feel the leading of the Holy Spirit. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Speak through me, Holy Spirit, so I can bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, and with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that it is my portion in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name that I do pray. Amen and amen. Decree a theme. So you guys, I'm actually in bed and I'm listening to some gospel music and all of a sudden I hear the Holy Spirit say, whatever it is that's on your mind, whatever it is that you are wanting me to do, decree that thing, believing that you have already received it in advance. Although you don't see it tangibly in the natural, I have already established it for you in the supernatural. And you got to believe just like the woman did with the issue of blood that she had already received before she touched the hem of his garment. So know that you decree it by believing in advance that you have already received it. Though you don't tangibly see it in the natural, know that God is faithful to perform it. He's going to do, he's going to do what he says he's going to do. What his word says, that settles it. And if his laws and pre-laws are in place, you best believe he's going to make a way out of no way. I will establish it for you. It's like putting icing on the cake. Because the Holy Spirit is further saying, not only will I establish it, I will complete it. He that began a good work in you will complete it. So anything that is required of you, Anything that he has deposited in you, promised, purpose, and predestined for you, he's faithful to perform it and he's going to make sure that that thing is birthed out and that you're going to do it. Decree that thing and the Lord wants you to know that he's going to establish it. Anything idolistically that you have on the inside of you that you want to talk to the Lord about, that you feel like you can't talk to anyone else about, that's what he is there for. He longs to bless you. But you've got to be specific and speak to him just like I am on here speaking on this camera. Knowing that the Lord has made a way because I walk by faith and not by sight. And I believe that by me speaking on this camera, that whatever the Lord wants done, not only in your life, but in my life. He's going to do just that and then some. Decree that thing and it will be established. Job 22 and 28. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. The Lord wants you to know that he is a God of order. And when he establishes an order, there's no doubt one and against it or a second, not a second thought about it. He's going to fulfill it and he's going to do exactly what he said. If his word says it, that settles it. Decree that thing and it will be established. 
Anything that is going to be done through him is going to be a proclamation and even a mandate. And I hear a command has been made to free you from your enemies. God has released it. That command. And you are being released to go to that next level freely. Thus said the spirit of the living God. Whom the son sets free is truly free indeed. John 14 and 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes through the father except through me. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying, place a command on it. Command ye me and decree a thing and see will I not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive it all. Don't you know that there is power in your mouth? You got to believe in what you say and place his words on it. It will and it shall come to pass. Because the Lord has already gave a command. The Lord has already gave a proclamation. The Lord has already gave a mandate. He has already made a way. He has already made ways for you. He longs to bless you. It is the Lord's mandate to carry out a decision that you acted on faithfully, believing that a way will be made for you through his laws through his statutes, through his precepts, in alignment, decent, and in order with the assignment. Matthew 18 and 18, I assure you, I assure you, it's a promise, it's a guarantee. Most solemnly, say to you, whatever you buy, Forbid, declare to be improper and unlawful on earth shall have already been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose, permit, declare lawful on earth shall have already been loosed in heaven. It was preordained. It was predestined. It was pre-planned. It is a bylaw. It is a mandate. It is a proclamation. According to the, the Lord's laws, precepts, and statutes in alignment, decent, and in order with the assignment. That decree, if you decree that thing, it will be established in your life. Believing in advance that ye have already received and ye shall have and ye shall eat the good of the land and the land of the living. I hear the Lord say you will be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in and blessed going out. You'll be the head and not the tail. You'll be above and not beneath. You'll be a lender and not a borrower. Decree a thing and it will be established. And see, don't I open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessing that there's not room enough for you to receive it out. Holy Spirit is saying, decree it released. Decree it released. You don't have to tangibly see it. Just know it and be assured of that thing. Be certain of that thing. Know that you know that you know that you already have that thing. No doubt, wondering or guessing. Decree that thing, believing that you have already received it. And I'm telling you, he's faithful to perform it. He's going to do it. If his word says it, that settles it. Decree a thing. And your plans will be carried out. A decree is about to be made over your life by a king, just like it was for Esther as well as it was for Joseph. The decree was established 
because of their faith. Come on now. You can't. <laughs> I'm about to shout right now. The decree was established over Esther's life and over Joseph's life because of their faith and favor was declared over both of their lives. Holy Spirit say the same thing he is doing for you. Decree that thing. And see, when I open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessed that there's not room enough for you to receive it all one more time, you'll be blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed coming in. Blessed going out. You'll be the head, not the tail. You'll be above and not beneath. You'll be a lender, not a borrower. I apologize about the noise in the background. That was my neighbor, she guys. You guys. I pray that this word has permeated, flowed, absorbed, and saturated to your spirit. Because I'm telling you, when I was laying down this morning and I heard this word, the Lord is saying the ball is in your court. What do you want? Whatever you want, decree that thing. Believe in that thing. Believe that you have already received it and it will be established in your life. Ain't no hoes barred on you. Can't nothing hold you back because the Lord has already done a release. It's a proclamation. It's an order. It's a command. You are up on the shadow of his wings. You are in his righteous right hands and you are seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. Promotion does not come from the north, the south, the east, nor the west, but promotion comes from the Lord. He longs to bless you. He longs for you to decree that thing and it will be established in your life. In alignment, decent, in, in order with the assignment. The bylaws have already been written. The ball is in your court. What are you going to do with that ball? Don't let that ball fall. Decree that thing and allow the Lord to establish your life the way it was pre-planned, pre-purposed, and predestined. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I'm on fire. I can't go on and on with this word, but who you guys? I can take this to a whole nother message. That's how the oil of the anointed is flowing right now. That's how the Lord wants to flow in your life. If you decree that thing, believing that you have already received it. You don't have to see it tangibly. Just expect the unexpected and remain faithful. If you're faithful over a few things, he'll make you rulers over many. Decree that thing and it will be established. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. I didn't even know how this word was going to go but let me tell you something when the holy spirit gets to flowing when the holy spirit gets to moving when the holy spirit places a word in your mouth it's gonna come forth the way that he intended because there was already a proclamation there was already a command there was already a law and a pre-law set in place to whatever it is that he wants you to do with you believing that you have already received it, it's going to be established. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. He's going to do what no other doctor. He can do what no other power, Holy Ghost power, can do for you. And he wants to do the unchangeable. He's one to do the unthinkable. He longs to bless you. Decree a thing and it will be established in your life. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has filled you up with some overflow. I pray that this word has filled you up just like it did with Esther, 
just like it did with Joseph with some favor and an unquenchable thirst that is going to take you into that new dimension and cause you through the oil of the anointing, through the fire of the Holy Spirit to decree that thing. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord specifically what you want. Decree that thing and it will be established in your life. God has given you access. He has his hands on you. You are up on the shadow of his wings in his righteous right hands and seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. He's got you, but you got to have you. Decree a thing and it will be established. This said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Keep the comments, the messages, the likes, the shares. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. You guys. Thank you, Kim. I want to send a shout out for you. I received the gift on today. Surprises are in the air. Decree a thing and the Lord will establish it. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you and see you through to greatness. We will talk on the next one if the Lord permits it on today. If not, I will see you guys on tomorrow. Once again, I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. We will talk later. God bless you. Bye-bye.